So I'm super pumped about today's video. Today we're going to take a look at whoo, this guy right here. So this is a weather resistant, tamper resistant GFCI receptacle. And the question is, you know, when do I need to be using this or when do I need to be using this? This is the weather resistant, tamper resistant receptacle only. So I'm going to break it down really simple today. So this is the one that provides the GFCI protection. So if you are at a location that is outdoors in a damp or wet location and or in an indoor damp or wet location, you're going to need a weather resistant receptacle. So here's the score. If you are providing the first point of GFCI protection at any location, you're going to want to use the actual GFCI device. If you have fed downstream or have a GFCI or arc fault and ground fault dual function breaker, and that location is already GFCI protected, then you can use just a weather resistant, tamper resistant receptacle. Depending on your location, you may not need to be tamper resistant. But I just go ahead and I like this one that my supply house sells. It covers weather resistant, tamper resistant, and up to 20 amps. That way they can just have one receptacle for their residential and commercial guys. So just to recap, if you're needing to provide GFCI protection, you're going to use your weather resistant, tamper resistant GFCI. If that area is already GFCI protected, you're going to use your weather resistant, tamper resistant, regular receptacle. <laughs> 